Hi, so I'm going to be going over voice meter as a element in streaming live music. Right now, there's a lot of necessity for uh, finding out how to stream your music live. So um, if you're using whatever broadcasting software you may have, I'm just using OBS, but um, you would just be you would use voice meter as a way to capture in this case, Ableton Live or whatever DAW. Now, the one downside it is if you want inputs, you can only have them unaffected because the way that voice meter is structured, the the way that it sends, so right now I have my voice going into voice meter, you see. Um, if I wanted to send that to Ableton so I could affect it, I wouldn't be able to because it would also send it to the voice meter out, which is a problem, obviously. And I will be covering how to uh, actually get um, inputs into Ableton and, and be able to capture Ableton's out, but that is with two audio interfaces. And obviously, not everyone has that, so I'm just gonna be focusing on this. So if you, for instance, have like if you're doing hip hop or industrial music, whatever it may be, and you have voice that you want relatively unaffected, maybe you want a gate or a compressor, which are in voice meter, you can have them and they're they're decent enough elements. I've used them before for this case. So say you have a uh, just a voice that you want over Ableton um, backtrack or loops or whatever, you know, maybe going on Ableton, you know, you could be controlling it with a MIDI controller or, you know, a thousand other things. But the only problem is you can only have this as your way to capture the voice. You can't do anything through Ableton itself. So downside, huge downside of voice meter. So I'm just gonna go quickly over OBS, just a tidbit. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get voice meter into OBS. This is how you do it. So you just go in, add an audio input capture, and create a new one. I'm going to mute that. Uh, and then you'd select voice meter aux output. That's it. And then you hit OK. And then you'd, and then that's it. That's what you have. And you can unmute it. Here it is. That's that's me talking. And that's your way of getting voice meter into OBS. Now to get Ableton into voice meter so we can send it to OBS. And that would be first you would have to get this all set up. Now okay. So I'm just gonna Go quickly explain this kind of interface. It is a bit daunting to get ahead of, get a, a grasp of at first, but you have three hardware outs you can select from. Your first one, your second one, your third one, whatever. Your, you have ASIOs, and uh, the on your first one you can select whatever it may be, and especially ASIOs, um, but if you want to do two other outputs uh, for analog outputs, uh, you would not be able to do that uh, through ASIO. It would have to be, you know, Windows or, you know, the other two formats. So make sure the buffer rate and the sample rate are good. You want to have that all sorted out because sometimes voice meter can tend to latch on to wrong buffer rate or mess with things so you just have to keep cycling through restarting it and making sure your hardware is dictating the right sample rate and so on and so forth and at some point it'll just click i mean this is part of what voice meter is it's pretty finicky so now if you want to monitor yourself you can click a1 on a a1 through 2 of all of your inputs. Again, you can have multiple inputs, but the only thing is you can't have them go through Ableton 
or you will have a feedback loop. And an important thing about understanding voice meter is that sometimes feedback loops can tend to be way glitchier than you would want them to be. I've had instances where I've muted things in Ableton and I just, and the feedback loop wouldn't stop. So I would have just needed to restart voice meter completely. So avoid feedback loops at all costs um, by following kind of where I'm guiding you guys uh, here. So an important thing to t notice is that you have the analog outputs that you can select for each individual input. You can monitor them however you want. And then you have the bus. So the bus is inconveniently the same output that goes to OBS and the same output that sends whatever inputs to Ableton. So what that means is that you will have feedback loops if you do a record monitor. So if you record something while using an input through voice meter into Ableton and monitor that recording, which is obviously you would want to do, it's, it's not going to work because so I don't want to illustrate that because no one wants to hear that. I mean, well, you know, obviously there's noise music out there. People do want to hear it, but is, uh, the point is, is that it, it, it's, I mean, it's just a characteristic feedback loop in digital, in the digital realm. It's not anything special. It's just, it's loud and it hurts. <laughs> so what to notice here is your virtual inputs. Now, this is where you send your, this is where you're going to be getting your Ableton out to you. So if you want, and also your, your bus that sends Ableton to OBS. Now, again, you want to have voice meter started up first, and then we can just crack into it here, and then go into Ableton Live or whatever doll you may be using. Now, go to the sound settings. Make sure it's ASIO and voice meter virtual ASIO. Simple enough. And uh, yeah, you can configure your inputs and outputs. By the way, if you have aux outputs on your audio interface, you can use them. Uh, three, like for instance, I have a Universal Audio Apollo USB 3.0, and it has an optional three and four out. You can use those perfectly fine. Obviously, problem is, is you don't want to send whatever you're sending as an aux send and back into Ableton because it, it'll just feedback loop. So if you want something affected, say to your aux, I won't get into that. Let's just focus on, on the, the very simple stuff here. So that's it. Don't, don't record any audio inputs. Again, this is unfortunate but you can't do it you cannot do it with voice meter it just doesn't work um it, i mean you can't you can record it but you can't you can't get anything from it you're not going to be able to hear it and neither will any of your stream streaming audiences like they won't be able to hear anything that you're doing uh you could just record it in here and that's you know, maybe you want to do that, but uh, I think for streaming purposes, it really won't serve you any good. So, I mean, of course, unless you want a feedback loop. Now, if you want that, that's a different story, and that, this is probably the method for you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you have your ability to send 
whatever MIDI instrument, sorry, um, VST plugin instrument controlled by MIDI to voice meter, which will go to OBS. That's pretty loud. Sorry. So yeah. And I mean, you can just open up the, the gates here. You can send, you know, giant walls of um, tracks and endless stuff that you can control. Again, only problem is if you want a physical actual input like guitar, bass guitar, voice, keys, you can't affect it unless those effects are not through Ableton because that's how it works unfortunately and so uh tune in next time i will go over how to use um two audio interfaces with ableton and no voice meter so you can have inputs that are affected through ableton and send that to your streaming software thank you very much